<laughs> People always ask me, what is happening here? Why do you leave this hair here? I was, <laughs> I was given a little brief uh, uh, explanation about this. So when you see this, don't just say, ah, what is this? What is wrong with this guy that <laughs> he's not bobbing his hair here? Please, uh, you are welcome. Each and every one of you, I welcome each and every one of you in the name of Almighty Hashem or Adonai, Almighty God. Please, I want to, I want you guys to share this video. Please share it with your friends so that there will be a benefit, a beneficiary of all I am about to share today. I will share it. My wife will also share it, and I will show you guys some evidence. There are some evidence that are mystery. <laughs> there are mystery in this one. You know, I, in most cases, I always talk about something that I knew and uh, how we can actually help ourselves. But in many in many cases, people always say, eh, "You Bible have contaminated your brain," and also I just keep silent and keep just quiet. Oh, but uh, whoever I want to hear and whoever I want to listen, please. Share this video and bring your friends. Let's uh, reason with one another and reason together as well. You will learn from me. And if there is anything you can also share with us, I will not bring my, my uh, what do they call it, my phone here online. But if you have our phone before, I would like to more or less like uh, contribute to what you know as well. You can also send... Uh, the 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 message to us by the in the comment box then when we see it right adventure will give you the time to share it so the topic of today is the 5g saga the topic today is the 5g saga and its connection with the second coming of Christ or new one, uh, one word or thou, whatever they call it. I would also like to brief whosoever with what I have known with the, uh, what do they call it? The, the coronavirus, the COVID-19, and also what one can do, like what with what we have had and the information we gather here. What you can actually do to prevent yourself, which each and every one of us know it. From the beginning, when they are talking about closing down in Nigeria, I saw poverty, I saw hunger, I saw in my dream, I saw people eating a dry bread. Dry bread. I, somebody met with me in the dream and he was begging for a dry bread. This is why I know it will be very tough in Africa, but... Uh, normally, if we know what we can do, we, it, will, it shouldn't be too much like so much. And of course, the problem is uh, the system in Africa is terrible. I always say this every time. The system is very terrible. But it's not about talking. I have talked too much. And to me, the talking is more or less like it become more boring because everybody is looking for solution, not just the talking. And like now, many people have rise and everybody is talking and talking and talking and I think, let them continue talking. The problem is beyond talking. And I said it in most, in most cases. It's just like some people are talking about, uh, let's go back to our forefathers' ancestral and ancestral worship of the Omena, Omena now or whatever. But if you look at the time now, you know, I said this in 2016. I talk about the perplexity of Omenana and the power of the great God. And I make some insight in which one we should have understand and learn. The Omenana is below your locality. It is not universal. But the power of the great God control the whole universe and every living being in this world. So do you see the perplexity of Omenana? You cannot be compared when we are talking about the knowledge of the true God. 
But because of ignorance and of course because of the manifestation of the prophecies of the word of God, everybody believed that ah, Umenana is the best. Because you see, what are we seeing? What can pastor do? And this and that. Pastor cannot do anything because God has said it that they are not worshipping him. They are serving their belly. And it is obvious because we all know that most of them are all, almost all of them as well, are serving their belly. And you know, when this COVID-19 just break out here in Europe, I told the people in my working place that I love the effect of the COVID-19 because it will more or less like bring many people closer to the Almighty. Because everybody is running hata skatana and looking for everybody seems perplexed and weak and everybody is like, Oh my god, what can we do? Is that does it mean that the whole world wants to be destroyed? Do you see why your omenana can't help? Because it is about the whole universe. And it's about you cannot prevent. Unless the Almighty, the God, said, I will save you. If not, the person dies. In fact, the knowledge of the true God is what every one of us should have even been thinking about. Not to menan and all this nonsense. Because it cannot help you. Let me give an instance. Pradventure, they declare new word order that unless you got the mark of the 666 that you cannot buy or sell, what can your men and serve you? A men and cannot serve anything. <laughs> and your men and give no insight about the coming incident and how to prepare yourself in case of unfortunate incident, how you can deliver yourself from it. A men and give no insight about that. Do you see why the worship of idol in your local village it is a complete waste of time? And waste of life forever and ever. You can, in, in fact, whatever you like, you can say. But that is not really more or less like what I want to say. What I want to say and what I want to discuss with you, guys, is the the connection with the COVID nineteen of coronavirus and the three G saga. In five G saga, I mean. the five G saga before now. Before now, my wife will come and also give a little information or enlighten us more on, on the program that has ever been and the plan of the world powers. You know when the scripture said, For we wrestle not against flesh nor blood, but against principalities and against power, against rulers of darkness and against spiritual wickedness in high places. People don't understand. Why? Because they believe that Omenana can Omenana. Let's go to Ba Omenana. 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 No, this nonsense. We are living in a spiritual world, being controlled by spiritual forces, and the Omenana cannot prevent you because your Omenana is one of the fallen demons that control your environment or your locality. But it is a spiritual over general. That control the whole universe. That is the God of all flesh. The Bible said he is the one through him. Everything is created. Whether visible and invisible. Whether visible and invisible. So he is more powerful than all. And the problem we have is that. How can we have access to him? And then your men and all. Whatever other activities you are doing in your localities. Are just people believing that this is how you can connect to the true God. And the Bible gives us a detail on how to connect to the true God. Righteousness. And he gives an instruction. And the law. That is another story. I have tried by the spirit of grace of God in most cases. But the Bible says. I write unto you, O Theophilus, about what Jesus began both to do and to teach. And this is the reason why I restricted myself a little bit. From all the whole, you know, somebody will come and be talking about, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. It is not about you see, you see. What can you do to what you have seen to prevent the coming doom? What can you do? And that is the problem. What can you do? You have seen, you have seen, I have seen, we all have seen. But what can you do to prevent the coming doom or to protect one another or whosoever that will believe? From the coming doom. Then everybody wants to share glory of I have seen. I have seen. I saw it. 
Even the other one said that God told him that uh, it will vanish in March 27. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the 27 has come and gone and nothing and the other one said I, I saw and God told me if you can do this then uh, he will restore you and this and that I just look at many things um, the problem is that the Bible said for the world it said, it said darkness will cover the whole world and it said gross darkness will cover the people and when he's talking about darkness covering the whole world and gross darkness covering the people, he's talking about ignorance. Talking about ignorance. In fact, <laughs> I don't know how I can put it again. Ignorance. If, and it is terrible this time around. It's terrible because different kind of individuals out of hunger and out of frustration has rushed just because they can say one, two, one or two words. In fact, to be frank, the, the so-called, what do they call them, motivator speakers are now a preachers of the gospel. Motivation speaker. And nothing concerned motivation speaker or motiva motivator, uh, uh, motivator speakers or preacher or comedian, comedians with the Bible preaching. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. For the kingdom of God is not in motivating. It is in an eradicating. Whatever my heavenly father have not planted, I will approach it out. Will it be uprooted? It's not about talking about all those problems. It's about solving the problem. What Jesus began both to do and to teach. What Jesus began both to do and to teach. Well, and, and the funny thing is that in most cases, when we go deeper into the things of God, the devil don't want you to listen to it. You say this one has come also with all the nonsense, Bible teaching or Bible talk and the God, the so called God. And, and it is very funny because the Bible said, because you did not believe the truth, God also gives you the spirit of delusion. That you will believe a lie and perish thereby by the people who with the people who did not believe. So that you will perish thereby with the people who did not believe. So all I'm begging now to whoever that is hearing is that you should please turn away from your wicked way and seek the presence of the living God. The COVID-19 are bringing more people, even people that you never expected to talk about God, are already talking about God because everybody fear about the death that they will die and depart from this world. Where will you be? Where will your soul rest in peace? Will your soul ever rest in peace if you die? Pradventure is free. And you must also understand that the death is not, it's not about, because if you watch what the Big Gate said, it is not about uh, 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 maybe the old age people and this and that. And if you listen to what Bigate said, he said that the world did not listen very well to apply the formula he sent out in order not to meet up to an un unexpected rate of whatever they expected. That is to say, they already know about how it will affect the life of people. And how people will die. So that used to say is all about minimizing the population of the world. But you know what? The God told you in jo Rome, Josh, uh, Isaiah chapter 1 in verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you will be killed by the sword. You will be destroyed by the sword. In Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4, I the Lord create all for myself, yea, even the wicked for the days of doom. I create the wicked for the days of doom. I create the wicked to kill, to destroy, and to steal. I created the wicked. But he gave us a, a way of escape. 
Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 14. In righteousness alone you will be established and oppression will be far away from you. In verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. If you, if you like, call it a COVID-19 weapon. Call it a, a weapon of warfare or whatever you call it, a biological weapon. The Bible said, but no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment issue, but in righteousness alone you will be established. But people don't listen to that. Nobody wants to hear in righteousness you will be established. In fact, pastor don't want to tell you in righteousness you will be established. The only thing that will tell you, ah, it will not come near you. But do you see how God disgraces the pastors now? All of them pack and enter inside their house. They pack because if they don't pack, sir, then that's why that they force them to pack. They themselves will die of the COVID-19. That is the terrible thing about it. The Lord said, in righteousness you will be established and oppression will be far away from you. And he said, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil because I will be with you. I am the Lord, the God who created all. But walk with me and be saved, O Israel. Walk with me and be saved, O Israel. Seek me and live. For why should you die, O house of Israel? Why should you die? I am the maker. I created disaster and I created good. I am the Lord who made all. I am the one who create disaster. I am the one who make life. I am the one who make death. I am the Lord. I am the one who is dead. And I live it forever. I am the one who will do all. Seek me and live. And everybody said, no. We don't want to seek you. We want to hear, ah, bless me. I need you all. And different kind of nonsensical individuals enter out of hunger. To preach the gospel and make merchandise according to biblical prophecies. And by the reason of the fulfillment of the biblical prophecies, now people said that they, that nothing like God. And of course, the Bible said, because iniquity will grow, the love of many will grow cold. For because iniquity will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Love of many. Love of what? Love of God. No one loves God anymore. No one believes in God anymore. Everybody believes that it is a joke. It is all mirage. It is a joke. It is all a mirage. But the consequences of not obeying the word are rapidly fulfilling according to the prophecies. And everything is vividly seen, even in our daily life. And no one can escape from the judgment thereby. But you say, still, it does not matter. It is terrible. Ndibo. 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 No matter who, no matter who you get among you, only one day you will be an Akka Christ. If you have never repented, if you are still joking with the world, looking at what, uh, what, and what, <laughs> how it will be, and what you want to do, brother, the life is more than whatever you may think about. I am, th I'm saying the truth. That is the last one. So I want to talk about. The COVID-19 and its connection with the second coming of Christ and the 5G saga. I have been around, brother, but uh, like as I said when I started, it's not about the talking. There are many talking already and the talking is already too much. And to me, I'm not interested in all this talking. The Bible says what Jesus began both to do and to teach. So I'm making underground preparation to make at least to gather myself. I'm not like other talkers. That talk, talk, and everybody can talk from now to one million years. So, this is it. This is it here. Do you see this? <laughs> Do you see this? I say this most of the time. I say this one time. And I declare it also many, many times. I have said technology is a handwork. Technology is a handwork. I have said it that technology, it is just an English word, technology. If not, it is a handwork. See here this. This is since that of the 3G. 
since that time of 3G, some people that are scientists from the Western world here, some science, the mystery I'm revealing to you here is a mystery that they have persecuted even the founder and drove him out of Europe. He is not in Europe, the founder of this. The scientist that invented this is no more in Europe. He's in Africa now. He, he based in South Africa now. Now, since the 3G, people start to see the negative effect of the 3G in our system and in our body. And the negative effect of Wi-Fi transaction, transmissions, and every other thing, and the danger in our system as a living being. And therefore, the man invented this with his scientific research to counter the radiation of the 3G. To counter the radiation. Now, with this, we have many of them mounted in different places in our houses. Wait for me a little bit. Let me look also. Take another, another one. This is another one. <laughs> These are scientific work that counter the radiation of the 5G pre-adventure. This is ever since 3G came. People knew the consequence and the danger of this. Let me tell you, if you doubt it, Go to Google, you can make research of what I'm saying. When Steve Jobs was alive, he was using a smartphone, but with carefulness. But he don't allow his children to touch a smartphone. Steve Jobs uses a smartphone with carefulness, but don't allow his children to use a smartphone. Why? Because of the negative effect of its radiation in our system and in our living, in our health as a living being. And this is why most of this by the sciences has been invented in order to counter the radiation so that it will contend against the radiation and reduce the, the negative effect in your life. We have a big part of this I will not show you because it's far away from my, uh, it is in our property, but it is outside the property. I, I'm not, I'm not close to it here. Even as I will go and show you guys. So, what am I trying to say in essence? The effect and the negative effect of the 3G and the 4G before the 5G now have we been long time issues it's not a new thing so don't now use this to talk about the covid 19 it is another part of the spiritual or another part of the struggle that we are in in the world this is why the bible says what upon the habitants of the earth and the world and they that i need for the devil is coming on them having a great rock for you know his time is short but you know when we talk about the Bible, they will say, go away with all your nonsense. But <clears throat> what can I say? Do you see this? Nkechi, come. Nkechi. Nkechi, come with your phone. Okay, my wife is not here. I want to show you something. See our phone. <laughs> this is one of my one of my son, his phone that he used to play game. And you know my children as small as they are all the time. In this new modern era, everybody wants to use a smartphone. But look at it. This is permanently stick. Sometimes some 
black people, they see me, there's or some even white people that are ignorant of what we are suffering or what the world is passing through. They see they were like, <coughs> what is this? <coughs> is it a Jew? If it is in Africa, they will say it's a Juju. But this is not voodoo. This is it is a scientific work to counter the negative effect of the Wi-Fi radiation in our body. Don't now again and start to say that uh, 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 it is about uh, the new world order and how to control you. Brother, with the 3G, they can get you wherever you are. It is not about the 5G. They don't use 5G to get you wherever you are. Do you understand that? A smartphone, there's what they build inside. They turn on your notification. And your um, um, what do they call it? Uh, what do they call it? They turn it on by themselves. And uh, while you are still looking for what is happening, they will look for you. Will look for you. Of course, you see the you see sometimes some people are making an advert of it. They trace you with the information given to them by the GP, G, uh, GPC, which is in your phone. And trace even, if you like, off the phone. The only thing I will save you is that you drop your phone at home and go where you are. No, nothing with phone that is connected with you. Even if there's no network there. In fact, I like as I said, remove off your phone. They will trace you and come there and pick you up. So it is not about knowing where you are. So the world is a small place to the powers that control the world. So don't think that it is until 5G come, then they will know and trace where you are. <laughs> if it is about that, remove it to your brain because it is, the world has grown beyond that. Don't say because it is about the new world order so that they will use it to control it. Brother, Sister, if it is about that, remove it from your brain. Then you talk about the COVID-19 and the 5G. My sister, my brother, there is no 5G trial. We are talking of trial now. Not about the infrastructure because there's, there's what they call trial and have, there's what they call the infrastructure. The infrastructure is that it is already being used. But the trial is that they want to try and see if pradventure, how, how will it be? And of course, you see the excuses they are giving to us. The excuse they are giving to us is that with your 5G, of course, and the world will run for it because everybody wants it like that. Why? Everybody wants if you just enter your phone, pa, 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 everything will come, boom, boom, boom. You know, in most cases, ah, I don't know why. This phone is now, ah, the network. Network is not working. Uh, network is not going fast. Uh, the, what is, no network. Uh, 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 hey, no network. Uh, no, no network. Uh, they are bringing the network uh, for you. But it will cost your life. No network. Uh, no network. Uh, the network is coming. And that is why they want to bring the 5G. In fact, it is a terrible fact. Working network. But your system... We'll be hearing me as well. And many things will be happening. That is why we have this. It is a scientific work. To counter the radiation in our system, in our body. This is why we have this. It is a scientific... Do you see copper wire inside? And some matters. And some unimaginable things. Some precious stones, some sad, in fact, some unimaginable things. This is a scientific work. It countered the radiation. In fact, there is a measure here, huh? we have already measured it. And if you put the radiation, if you put the, the, the something close to your phone, you see the effect, the radiation, how it goes. And if you remove this, you see how faster it is going. Sha, 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 sha. But if you put this close to it, you see that this thing is drawing the, the, the radiation. It's drawing the network back. 
so that it will not be because everything penetrates into our heart, into our body, into our system, and gradually is destroying your system. People don't know about this. It is, look, we are in a terrible world. We are in a terrible world. But you don't need to be the Bible says don't be a, don't be panic. Oh my god. Nkechi, excuse me, please. Nkechi, come. My wife will come here and enlighten us and I will also gather more of this in our house to show you that we have been prepared for this for a very long while. I said since, I don't know if it is since 3G, she no more, she will tell you now. I have to get you continue. Okay. While I bring... Have you mentioned already something or should I just... No, start? continue. There's no need to talk all. Okay. So... 5G, everybody knows, is a fifth generation um, uh, wireless technology and it is sold for us as uh, improvement of wireless networking and everything but actually it comes with big, big side effects and I'm aware of that actually for many, 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 many years um, because I came across, and I'm very grateful for that, I came across sources uh, that taught me about the side effects, the negative effects of all these radiations. I don't know if you people know that already 3G, 2G to a certain extent, and 4G is mainly working on microwave uh, frequency. That means generally if you're too close to a, a radiation device or an antenna, it is as if you are being roasted in a microwave you know and there are many many experience uh, experiments already that have shown for example and we all know that we should not put the cell phone too close to the brain because actually it's moving and heating up the brain and the brain cells and it's like a, a toxin uh, it's like um, um, uh, intoxicating our cells you understand so and um, if we come into 5g technology what comes with the microwave uh, frequency is the millimeter frequency which is even stronger and they have just i mean generally they they do uh wait sorry <laughs> my son is here uh they do some experiments but all the all the results of all these experiments um they are being uh, uh censored by mainstream media by uh, governments because of course i mean it is not really benefiting them because there's a lot of money behind and a lot of manipulation behind so um but whoever uh, has access a little bit to alternative news um uh, is aware about all these dangers for many 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 years so i was one of those blessed person that um uh, came to know all about these things very very early and so um, if you look at, I want to show you people something if you look at my phone I am using an iPhone you see but what I'm having here is an organite I don't know if you have heard about an organite an organite is a it's like a raisin and inside the raisin there are different particles of metal and other uh, precious stones. My husband will now bring something big. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> lift, lift it up. <laughs> I wanted not to come with this, but I want you guys to see. Uh, this is now a tower buster. It's called tower buster. This one is a mighty version of this one that we are putting on our phones for many, 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 many years. So uh, this tower buster again consists of many different metals as you can see it's a size for clock. and it in the in, you don't see it from here there is even a spiral and things like this so they have uh, also like precious stones are inside like crystals uh and and it's 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 um a physical principle and there are experiments with devices you know there are devices that you can use these are some of them <laughs> it is all in our phone 
this can be measured. This is not um, some kind of strange something or some kind of esoteric or something or some kind of uh, spiritual something, but there are devices where you can measure radiation and you can measure the effect, the negative effect of radiation on a physical body and um, you can also, if you use this and then you use the same devices to check it, you will see the positive effect of all this. So this is what we personally are doing. You know, we have many of these devices here because we want to protect our family. And the fascinating thing is that one of the biggest companies that is doing this is actually located in South Africa. So he it is called... And, and, and drove away. Yeah, he is, he is a German resident, but he has... He, he, um, he established his company in Africa because uh, he he were he was telling me once you know was communicating with him directly. I'm not related to him any anyhow, but I was asking him how how did you come to Africa and and why did you decide to to establish your your company here in Africa? And he said because Africa is so free, you know. Uh, Europe is so much restricted, all the Western world is so much restricted and it's very difficult to do something that is not following mainstream or the main wave of uh, what is uh, what, what the, what's the, the government or the main uh, um, organizations uh, want the people to believe. So if you are doing something that is um, uh, showing the truth and con contending against them and telling the people the truth, uh, that will cause uh, the government and the people to lose a lot of money, then they are being persecuted, they have problems and they are sabotaged and things like this. So this is why he decided to go to, Amer uh, to, to Africa and he is actually based in South Africa and these devices that you see now, I've ordered them in South Africa 10 years ago. <laughs> so many, many, many years ago. And I'm just... Um, I don't want you to be afraid of all these like 5G. You don't need to be afraid because, for example, there are many recipes online how you can produce this yourself. It's not expensive. You know, you don't need to order it anywhere, but you can do it yourself. You just need a resin and this is a procedure that you have to follow. Then you can put it in your house. You can put it, um, yeah, to protect yourself, number one. Because the problem with 5G is... Uh, the nature of this frequency needs a lot of antennas. So they have to put them, I think, like every 200 to 500 meters. So it affects a broader mass of people. You understand? And, but what I wanted to say is, um, knowledge is, knowledge is liberty. If you understand it, knowledge then it power. doesn't mean, exactly, then it doesn't mean that you should be fearful. But you should know that I don't like all the people that are just sharing fears. You know, I'm always following the medias and, and there are some people that are saying, yeah, 5G, this is the coronavirus and things like this and blah, 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 blah. But they don't give solutions and they don't give help and they don't give an exit door, you know, because if you raise fear, you have even a worse effect and you are, you are even uh, adding to the problem. Not a problem, exactly. Yeah. So do you know that if you really fear something in your heart, if you fear something, you can fall severely sick. You don't need any 5G. You don't need anything. But and just you can even your die thoughts, because of the conflict. you can die. For example, if we are talking about fear of death, it will definitely affect your lungs. Because your lungs are related in your brain to fear of death. So that's why I'm and saying... And it, it will cause you some conflict that will generate and eventually lead to your death. Exactly. That's why I want you to be aware of the situation at the moment. You know, we have all this, we are confronted with a lot of different things. And one of those things is the 5G network. But don't be afraid. There are things that you can do to protect yourself. The same thing with this Corona issue. And uh, what, like what I said before, that the uh, 5G is not the cause of the coronavirus. The no, coronavirus no. is a different thing entirely, like yeah. as I said before. The reason is because in Iran, Exactly. They have not started the trial at all. There's nothing like trial because you go online, you will see the countries that are making the trials and the country that are doing the infrastructure. The infrastructure is the establishment and the, the automatic uh, maybe um, using it already in the, in, the, in, the, in the country. And the trials are people who are already maybe more or less like they just want to try and see how it will be or something like that. But Iran was, among, was not among the trial, let alone talk about the, the, the infrastructure. So they have not started using it. They have not even started the trial. Exactly. And so. still, in Iran, people are dying like chicken. Exactly. Then 
Where then come the tri the 5G in, uh, in the land of Iran? Exactly. This was the first thing when I saw people sharing all these things, you know, because people are trying to find solutions and everybody wants to get attention. Uh, if, so, like, no, everybody you wants know, to I, talk. I was sometimes and... just telling people, these are a lot of attention seekers will come out that particular time. Then they will invent their own scenario and explanation of the thing. And what will they do? They will confuse many. And all what we need now is not confusion. What we need now is a clear mind, a pure mind, an open mind, and understand that this is a, a, a it is a very very important time where we should not be in fear and we should not get confused. And all these different explanations that are leading to nowhere, like this 5G is Corona, you know, and where we where everybody and the, the looks, coming up and, and the Antichrist, the New World Order, and the control. Because this is what they are talking about, the 5G, that is about the new world order, so that they can be able to control the world. This is why I said, without the 5G, the they world. already control the whole world. Without you know, the with 5G. 3G, uh, with 3G, with 4G, they can just operate your phone from wherever they are. Do you know exactly. that? Exactly. On your, um, uh, what do they call Even it? if uh, you off your, 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 what is it called? Uh, the, 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 location the location services. Exactly. They can, they can operate your phone. They can on your camera. They can, even without your, 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 Con is that you are consciously You will not even contribute it. anything. Just hold the phone like this. Yep. They will turn your phone uh, uh, on and control your phone. Just so, you just hold your phone like no this, five and they will be controlling your phone is, uh, even where they are in your house. Mm -hmm. So it's not about five G. The only thing is that the 5G is more higher dimension. Honestly, 5G is not healthy at all. We don't need to yeah, that debate is, that. Uh, exactly. It's, it's that is just the as fact. I've mentioned before, it's microwave frequency along with millimeter frequency, which cannot be healthy for the body. It's not really and healthy. It is it's proven not, it's in not. many, many, many instances that it's really that one has to be constant about it, but not fearful and afraid because we have means to so protect ourselves. So what somebody ourselves. is saying, we really need a 5G in our world. Well, okay, they, we need it, but the radiation, the, the negative effect of the 5G, that is what we're, what we're talking about. It's very dangerous to your health. The only thing is that if the world forces it into uses, and of course there it will be. There are means to protect there yourself. There are means and you can protect those yourself. Those means are not even expensive. Exactly. You can produce them yourself. And then it will have no negative impact. We are living with that for a long time, you know, and people are sometimes looking. I'm showing it again for everybody newly came. It is not our phone. <laughs> and sometimes people are asking me, what are you having on your phone? <laughs> if it is in Africa, the metal is a voodoo. It is not our phone. <laughs> no, this is, uh, um, this is like physics. I said, it's physics. It's, uh, look at it. It's a science fiction work. Yeah. And look at it also. It is everywhere. <laughs> and like as I said also, okay, you, you have, a, this you have seen the headquarter. You you have seen the headquarter. This is a copper tube. You understand? And inside the copper tube again is this resin ah. and different metals. Let me show some thing. people that have not had seen it. <laughs> this is the headquarter here. <laughs> and it, this one is in our property at the back of the house. <laughs> if you put this one now, this very one now, let the 5G pole be here. And then put this one there. It will pull the something. The radiation will not come as much as in your house. And therefore your people will be protected from the something. Exactly. And what is so this essential, is what we mean. where I stopped before is, all we, we all know, and everybody who knows scripture, fear is of the devil. So fear is never, never, never working in the whole thing. And if you look around, there are many confusing messages of different explanations. We were talking about the coronavirus, where they are saying it's not really a coronavirus, but it is 5G that is causing it. We have already proven already that in Iran there is no 5G trial, so this can't be true. Not, not even, <laughs> the trials are not there, let alone, the, uh, let alone exactly. to talk of the infrastructure. The trial is not there at all, let alone to talk of the infrastructure. That is to say they have not even tried it to see whether they will use it or not. And still, people are dying like foul in Iran. Exactly. Then where is the 5G then? Exactly. And I want to encourage you people, don't just listen uh, or, or, or believe everything you find on WhatsApp, what people are sharing, or everything what you find on Facebook that people are sharing. But you have a sound mind. <laughs> Look at what so, somebody is asking. Brother, is that bomb? <laughs> <laughs> is that that bomb? is bomb against um, uh, radiation, <laughs> against uh, uh, frequency radiation. <laughs>
<laughs> that is bomb, actually. You have a sound mind and you can do your own research. That's what I've always done. You know, the Bible also said you should test every spirit. Don't believe everything. I and don't whatever... know where you people are coming from. Listen to the video again, then you will see what we are talking where we are coming from. Where we are coming from is that um, the 5G radiation or the 5G network that is coming now is not about the uh, coronavirus. No. The reason is because uh, in Iran, they, 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 they have not started the trial. The trial is not there. Exactly. And I, I told you guys that there is a trial and infrastructure. The trial is not yet there, let alone to talk about the infrastructure. That is to say they have not tried it at all, let alone to talk about the implementation of the 5G. And still, people die like foul in Iran. Mm -hmm. Then, where come the 5G? Is it by air or is it not a pole with uh, some wire and some other things? It is about the pole and wire, it's not a spirit. Mm -hmm. Then, where come the, 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 radi the radiation of the 5G now in Iran? Mm -hmm. That is killing people like foul in Iran. The first thing so, I did... that is to tell you that it is not about uh, the, the 5G is not the, the, the coronavirus. It is, it is what the Bible said. Woe upon the inhabitants of the earth. Mm -hmm. And the world and they that I need for the devil is coming on them having a great wrath, for he know his time is short. Mm -hmm. In other words, the Bible said, in righteousness you will be established and oppression will be far away from you. Yeah. For I, the Lord, I create all for myself, yea, even the wicked for the days of doom. And the Lord warned you that seek me and leave, O ye Israel, for why should you die? Why should you die? Because I have power over all. In John chapter 3, 30 and 31, the Bible said, He who from above is above all, and who came from heaven is above all. But the problem is that if you are not really truly connected to the Almighty, according to Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of Almighty. He did not say who he who claim. You know, some people are claiming. They will say, hey, go and read uh, Psalm 91. It is not about reading. It is not about claiming. He said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. And as far as you dwell in the secret place, he said, and no weapon form against you shall prosper. Exactly. God knows that there is weapons. Mm. And these are scientific weapons. But God, who created us, said, no weapon form against you shall prosper. Including whatever weapon. God is above all. And, and God is in control of all. Can I say one more last thing? What is the most important message from your side, number one, uh, from my side to you, is number one, don't be afraid and use your own intelligence to do research, test everything you see and don't fall in, in kind of the temptation that you are despaired or something or, but what I want to say is all these different, there are many different theories. You know, I've heard the theory that it's coming from China and that they have fashioned it as a bioweapon, not, not about Corona. Or all the other different things is all to distract you. Do you know that? This is the devil's work that wants to distract you. And the only thing that is essential now. Okay, we have to watch and pray. Watch means that you do the ne necessary things. For example, in terms of Corona, that you protect yourself. Be watchful. Exactly. You're watchful. You also, if you know about the dangers of 5G, you do something to protect yourself. Exactly. That's it. But what it is really about is seeking the face of your creator. Coming close to him. This is the only thing that we should do. This is the most important. Exactly. And all the other things that causing fear that causing distraction confusion our god hashem this is his name is not the author of confusion and what and he, is, he is above all exactly you know how if if he has been the creator of all he would if he is not the creator of all he would have warned us of all the danger and if the bible has not warned us about, about all the coming doom and all these things that we are experiencing then we would have said, where is the God? Where was he before this thing? Didn't he see? Didn't he know that all this thing will happen? But he warned us in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Verse 20 said, but if you refuse and rebel, you will be killed by the sword. The sword are all these things that are destroying humanity. Exactly. In the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 54 in verse 14, he said, in righteousness, you will be established and oppression will be far away from you. Verse 17 said, no weapon. Is it not some people call it a biological weapon? But the Bible said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. No weapon. It does not matter whatever weapon. They form. And you know what? And this is why God is, the Bible said, for he knows how to protect the righteous and preserve them. 
He knows how to, pre to protect the righteous. And this is why all these informations are coming. These informations are coming because God is also sending informations and embedding the, the righteous and people who will believe with ideas and information on what you can also do. Like as the Bible says, faith without work is as dead as body without soul. So listen very well. Listen, look for what you will do. But at the event, if it is about manufacturing this, I don't know how it will be. If not, we can go into more or less like seeking for it, whoever that need it. But let the coronavirus finish. Whoever that is in need of it, we will try to see how we can get you if you send money or something like that. Then we post it to the person so that you preserve and protect at least your own life from the radiation. The reason is because you can't prevent the world and the political powers from establishing it. You can't. If they say, hey, we, we want to do it. And the funny thing is that, like as you all know, and we all know, for instance, if they say they want to establish it now, and you say, no, I don't need 5G, I don't need this. Then if your if you're 1G or whatever G you're using, 4G, if, you're, if, if they cut off your 4G, that uh, maybe the network, uh, um, MTN or Global, or whatever network you guys are using in Africa, in Nigeria or anywhere, is no more working. You have no option, or that, unless you don't want to use a phone again. You have no option rather than keen to it. Do you see that there's no how you can preserve, you can prevent yourself from being using? You can't prevent yourself. Unless you don't want to go do anything with um, smartphone again, then you go to our Asian Touch phone. That no, that need not. Uh, uh, and of course, almost all of them need. Uh, but if the uh, antennas are around, then you it will still uh, affect. This is exactly which phone you're exactly. Using. So you see, there's no how you can prevent yourself from the coming danger. Hmm. But the problem is, how can you prevent yourself from being hurt by all this evil? Number one, don't fear. Number one, number one, don't fear, because fear is one of the most. It's the the. It's one of the. The, the shims of the devil to kill and it even kills more than any uh, other exactly, thing exactly fear is so dangerous it can literally kill you there i, I want to tell you something in there were you know there were in the middle ages there were very wicked people here in europe and they were doing very wicked experiments and they were trying out actually what will make a person die you know and they they tried different things and there was one particular thing that i never forgot they were they were tormenting people and this person just thought that the person is being killed they tied the eyes so that the person could not see and they were preparing everything and the person was laid on the table and the person was awaiting his death and you know in the, the person knew that he would be beheaded and you know what they did one water drop they put here a water drop will a water drop kill you can a water drop ever kill you when you lie on a bed and it hits you here no any common sense will tell you how can a water drop kill you but you know what happened the water drop because of the fear of this person that have killed the person yeah mm -hmm. The person died immediately. And if that, he was and really beheaded. The, 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 the evidence and uh, the evidence to confirm what you are saying is the people they beheaded, including the president of Cannes, recently that he was that was beheaded. Of course, you see how all of them were already how he was. He is already dead even before they beheaded. Exactly. And all the other people they killed during the, the Boko Haram kill and slaughter and put in the in the in the gutter. Uh, in the hole when they dig and slaughter all of them you see that almost all of them are already dead before the because you see all of them they were like as if they were being bewitched so what you said is a confirmation to this fact that exactly. we ourselves are witnessing and fear is so so dangerous for your health for everything so just put fear away and know that there is a creator and why all these things happen is because he wants you to turn to to walk towards him to focus that is why he says, upon him that is why he says seek me and live O ye israel exactly. for why should you die why should you die because i am the creator of all exactly why should you die because i am more powerful than all why should you die because i am the almighty i am why then should you die and everything else is distraction that's why i'm sometimes for me it's just amusement if i see another theory if i see another interpretation please another i need answer. the radiation protection is important okay <laughs> yeah it's, it's all it's all right uh, 
we look for how to if you the, after this uh, coronavirus then whoever that is in need of it you can tell us then we'll see how we can um, get it and tell you how much it costs then you bring we used to produce it ourselves many many years ago so it's actually not so difficult but now you know you can't even get the thing uh, let the corona uh, finish mm -hmm. uh, another thing about the corona is the corona issue one should we all know what we should do wash your hand and uh, protect yourself by wearing your mask exactly if somebody is telling you that wearing masks is not protective i want to tell you that it is a lie from the pit of hell exactly in czech republic it is not spreading as it is spreading in other places the reason is because from from the first beginning they started everybody started complying to the government instruction in wearing of the mask and washing of the hand and because of that it is not spreading here in slovakia uh, uh czech republic czech, yeah and these are the testimony the people are testifying that it is not really spreading here why because of the wearing of the marks that's why a jewish man a jewish man also in a wuhan in china said in among his community his believers his disciples none of them were affected because from the anfang from the beginning beginning all of them start to wear marks they start to put their clothes off their house whenever they come they go out and come in they always put put their clothes outside in other shoes words, off. Shoes and off. shoe off. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you must wear masks, the reason why you must wear masks is because in some cases, what if, if somebody sneezes here, and you know the thing will hang within 60 seconds on the air. Mm -hmm. Now, if the person sneezes and cough and bring out the corona within maybe like two seconds or three seconds before you reach there, or five seconds or ten seconds, or even 15, 20 seconds before you reach there, then the thing will be hanging around and you will just collect it like that. Mm -hmm. Without the mask protection, you will get contacted with it and you will be going along with it, unknown to you. Mm -hmm. That is why the wearing of the mask is very important because in case of necessity, in fact, the mask should be, as far as you are going out, you should put it on. Not until you see somebody. Not until you see somebody sneezing or something or coughing or something. You should put it on all the time, as far as you are outside. In case of necessity. And also... People that are wearing ice glass is very important that at this time around, you should buckle up in using your ice glass. And people that are not wearing ice glass before in Africa, please, you should buckle up in buying one ice glass, sun at least glasses. some glass yeah, sun in glasses. Africa. Mm. If, if not about even sunglass, any glass, please, it, it yeah. must not be sunglass. Mm. Any one that your money can reach, you just buy. And uh, talk about the coronavirus being injected in the, in the marks. I want to tell you in a point state. The, uh, the governor is producing masks by themselves. We ourselves, can you bring our own? I will show them now. We ourselves, we have produced our own masks by ourselves. It is not the most that you must buy a mask. You can go to any tailor and tell tailor, please, I want you to do this thing for me. The only thing is that uh, there's an experiment somebody did and we tried it here and we see that it is true. What is the experiment? You take some of the masks and you spray something. Spray water with a hard... Uh, 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 spray something spray it if you go through you see that the max is not uh, thick enough to pre to prevent uh, prevent you from getting the corona mm -hmm. that is to say you should look for another thing this is african wrapper mm -hmm. that we use in the pro in, in in the preparing and you see some protector uh, protective or something we put uh, inner that we put inside before the something so there is no how you put on this mask like like this and you are going anywhere that anything will, will hit you. Nothing will hit you. Never. Nothing will hit you. Mm -hmm. Like this. Nothing will hit you. Nothing. <laughs> so this is my own uh, mark. So my wife produced it here. We did it ourselves. So if my wife can... I caught it and she... <laughs> and <laughs> I'm actually, I'm very proud of it because I'm actually an absolute beginner. This is my first piece of, of, of tailoring in my life, you know. <laughs> no, no, this is not the first time you saw the Biafran flag as well. Right? Yeah, but this is not a close mm -hmm. So, what are we trying to say? I have to do if you cannot... Mm -hmm. Okay. If you cannot, uh, there's no need of uh, being afraid of uh, Corona marks that is coming from China and somewhere. You can prepare your own marks yourself and when you prepare it like it like this yourself then there's nothing to, to fear about 
Why? Because it it will prevent, it will protect you, and you will not say you will not be afraid of. Uh, I don't know if this one has corona or doesn't have corona. Nothing corona because you prepare it by yourself, and you can meet to any tailor within your places, within your locality. It does not matter how the tailor show it. All you know is that show it so that it will be fixable and protect you from the corona. And finish. And you must understand one thing. If Bigate, whom under normal circumstances, I will not talk much about him, if he said that the world did not prepare to him very well earlier, and that is why the something is rapidly slaughtering more than expected. Because uh, what they were expecting, like what he said, what we were, and I was like, who is this we were? And what they were expecting was not more um, like effective as it is. And that is why, they, uh, according to him, they were warning the world. Uh, and they, who are they that are warning the world? And, and why must he be warning the world? So that are the things you will not understand. And this is why the Bible says, Woe upon the inhabitants of the earth and the world. And they that are in it, for the devil is coming in them, having a great wrath. For he knows his time is short. And the Bible says, The thief come not, but to thief kill. To thief kill. To thief kill and to destroy. So you see that. They are of their father, the devil, fulfilling the desire of their father. But the word of God have warned you of this. So what am I trying to say in essence? Brother and my sister, prepare your own uh, uh, corona mask and wear it all the time. Wash your hands and as well. Another thing I want to say is, Pradventure, you are outside and uh, you, have been, you are feeling scratched. Please, for God's sake, Never you, if, if that be the case, you can do like this. This is what I used to do. I do like this and take my cloth from in because there's no corona, of course, from somewhere. So that in case of necessity, if it is in your hand and you have not washed your hand, you just from somewhere, just do the scratch yourself with your cloth and something like that. You can just fold something and just use something to scratch yourself. Never you, but for enemies, because that is the reason why the corona is spreading and killing people anyhow. And of course, it's not about old people because young people are also dying. And it's not about white or black because black people are also dying in America and in London. So, please, protect yourself and keep yourself safe. And if it is about the Antichrist, I want to tell you that the Antichrist is completely different from what we are seeing now. These are the pestilence, these are the calamities, these are the tragedies, and these are the incidents in which the scripture prophesies that all this way is the beginnings of sorrow. These are, Jesus called them, the beginning of sorrow. And these are signs. These are the, the, the symptoms, I should call it, the symptoms of the second coming of Christ. And as far as it are, these are the symptoms of the second coming of Christ, brother, it is not yet about time. The Antichrist will not come until the temple of God is being built. And I want to tell you, that the temple now in Jerusalem have not been built. Why? Because the high fire that they will use for the building of the temple, that they will use for sacrifice of the temple, is not found anywhere in the world. So, until the high fire is being found in the world, before the building of the temple, everything has been prepared in Israel, of the building of the temple, every, all the equipment, everything, they have prepared everything, and prepared for the building of the temple. But, there is no high fire that they will use for the sacrifice when the altar is been built. Remember that it is after the building of the altar and the commencing of the sacrifice that the uh, the man of the, the the lawless man will appear and fight and go and stand in the altar of God in Jerusalem and proclaim himself to be God. And the Bible says he power will be given to him to exercise some certain authorities and some wonders. In which pradventure, if it is not because of the shortening of the time, that many will get misleading by the reason of the false wonders of this false man of lawlessness, who the Bible said, when Jesus come, he will kill him with the bread of his presence, and therefore clear him of the way. That is to say, the Antichrist issue, whatever any person is attaching to Corona and the 5G, please, Ignorant is the reason why people are perishing. And the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Please, let it be off your mind. Let it be off your mind. The only thing you should do is prepare your way and adjust yourself. 
If there's any some things you, you are thinking about, you should also use this um, corona as a means of coming closer to God. Do you see that when the rapture takes place, your money is no more value? I told people that nothing is be, be, I can never I can't trade my salvation with anything. I don't trade my salvation with anything. And this is why you can't talk about my salvation and expect me to be well with you because of course I can only leave the person and tell you please just go on your way. So the, the, the knowledge I had, I can't play with it because it is it is it is about my life. It's about my spirit, it's about my soul. Where will it rest after departing out of this world? So what am I trying to say? The coming of Christ is different and the signs and the oh, what the Bible say about the coming of the Antichrist is not about 3G network and all this. These are symptoms, these are signs of the second coming. These are the beginning, Jesus called them the beginning of sorrow, but it has nothing to do with the coming of Christ. What I can only tell you is, pre the Bible said, there's nothing like coming of Christ. Okay, thank you, brother. Nothing like coming of Christ. That I'm not even talking about someone like you. I'm talking about people who believe. Uh, that is exactly what I'm saying. You, these are people that are talking of Omenana and this and this and that. And I have told you before, your Omenana cannot help you. The reason is because when the world declares some certain thing, the control of the whole world, your Omenana cannot save you. Because your men and I cannot even save you from radiation of network, let alone to talk of any control. Your men and I cannot help you because you will be wiped off. They can, they can say in America, remove control and kill you through it. So your men and I cannot help. <coughs> your men and I is complete nothing to do with the whole universe. The whole world and the whole universe is beyond one one juju in one corner of one part of the world. We are talking about the whole world. We are talking about things that control the whole world. And you know, when you are talking of juju, the juju you worship in your local village is different from the one others worship in their local village. And it's different from the one people worship in different, different corners of the village. The only thing is that people don't want to listen and hear about that. But it's all right. Uh, um, you are all welcome. And I would like to say goodbye from here. From all what I have actually passed through to each and every one of you, all we say in conclusion is, don't be afraid. Try to see how you protect yourself and adjust your way. Oh, sons of God, adjust your way. These are the symptoms of the second coming of Christ. These are the symptoms. You, men and our people, and juju worker, you should also use this time to see that your juju cannot help you. It can't help you. I have cried. In 2016, I preached a message I titled The Perplexity of Omenana and the Power of the God of Heaven. The power is beyond your menana, and it, it is it is beyond your menana because your juju in one corner of your village cannot does not have the effect in the whole world. Where there are people that worship demons, there are people that worship demons not by one kind of nonsense, but they have a connection spiritually that they through astrological invocations and um, uh, and uh, and spell making that disappear, not, not by some kind of Peter Peter. One nonsense. Somebody will be talking about one juju in the one kind of corner that cannot even help that, that cannot even do anything. So please prepare yourself and make your way right before God. That is all what the Bible said. Let the wicked forsake his way and the ungodly man his thought. And let them come to God. For unto our God, he will have mercy. The God that created the whole world. He is the Almighty. He is Almighty. And there's no one. There's no one. There's no one else. There's no one else. Please, thank you and God bless you. Ciao. Bye bye.